I'm Jack Bigadu. Welcome to my channel. I'm the Hood Sommelier. Today we are talking about Blue Run. If you've been in the industry for the last year and a half, Blue Run came in as this premium whiskey uh, with amazing design and revolution and all the good things that you want to see uh, from a whiskey. I fell in love with Blue Run when they released their first edition. It was a 13 year and then a 14 year whiskey. And for me, it was everything that a whiskey has to do. Now, through the years, they still, through through the few months that followed through the year, they still came out with some whiskey, Reflection, the High Rye, the Golden Rye. Uh, and for me, I feel like Blue Run always look for innovation when it comes to their whiskey. Uh, now, recently, uh, they hired their new head blender, uh, Shailene is, is her name. But they've always worked in the past with uh, Jim Rutledge, legendary for making one of, uh, I mean, a lot of good whiskey that we know from Four Roses to uh, Kentucky Cream to a lot of work that come out of Barstown. Um, now, if you think about Blue Run, Blue Run uh, did not start the whiskey by distilling anything. As a matter of fact, uh, they just announced that they opened their own distillery in Kentucky, but right now they're sourcing. Last year around this time, right before, yeah, right before we got into into uh, Thanksgiving, they came up with their single barrel series. Those were just amazing barrel selected. It went it went crazy on the market. It went fast, and this year. I have in front of me the flight series and I kind of know what Blue Run is trying to do here because those single barrels were what averagely about 199 bottles not everybody's gonna get it you're gonna have some mad people some happy people some people that are just you know I mean it was just an ordeal so what do you do if something like that happened what you do is you pick your best barrel that could be single barrels. Now that you have a head distiller to actually see if maybe you can make what they're calling this a micro batch, not a small batch, but a micro batch, which actually is just a variance of two or two barrels or five barrels maximum that you blend to be able to give the same level of flavors that you want. So, Coming to the market, and like I said, this is not a, a gimmick. I understand what Blue Run is trying to do is pretty much spread the love around, right? So you 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 have a nice single barrels. What do you do? You blend them together to give more to people, or maybe one that is a great single barrel, one that is an okay one. Now that you have a head distiller, a, a head uh, blender. Their job is to take these juice and make it the best that you have. So let's talk about the new one. The new thing out of Blue Run, which is the Flight Series. Now, the Flight Series is a series of six different uh, micro batches that are coming out. I was sent the uh, Parisian Patisserie, so which means a uh, a patisserie from Paris. The Parisian patisserie, uh, that's what I'll call it, the Parisian patisserie. Uh, my French is coming in. Um, and there is multiple different, this is the third, uh, the third one of the series. And this is a blend of only three barrels, right, to make this one. So, I mean, as you look at it, there's there will be, yes, yeah, 770 bottles out of this series. So, which pretty much will help spread the love around for people, right? Uh, three barrel put together, that's 200, you know, 250 per barrels. You get good juice. So today we are going to try this one of the, the series. Again, I like the theme that Blue Run has, where it's like, you know, collect them all. You know, you got to collect those butterfly. Uh, obviously, if you look at the butterfly design on the bottle, I mean, Blue Run is about sophistication. But let's see if the juice stand up to it 
a micro batch, small batch. What's the difference between a micro batch and a small batch? Pretty much you're looking at less barrels and pretty much flavor. This bottle here, the the the, the series here, uh, out of the six, I have the Parisian Patisserie, which is 56.55, so 113.1 proof. And is a mix of three barrels and from uh, Castle and Key. So it's Castle and Key juice. Uh, I believe the oldest barrel here, I'm, I'm not very sure, I believe that oldest barrel is about, it's about uh, seven years, I believe, seven years. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try it right in front of you so we can actually see if it stand to the test. That's a hefty pour there that I have. So let's look at it. Beautiful color, beautiful, beautiful golden color. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, it's a dark, dark copper color. I love the nose on this. Yeah, it's some, a little bit of uh, fruit. So peach, raspberry. Mm. Okay. I don't hate it. It's a beautiful peach, raspberry, some plum as well. For 113, you think the ethanol will hit you right away? But it's not. It is not. And this is a hefty pour too. So. All right. Yeah, burnt caramel, just a little bit of caramel. Now I want to see where the Parisian patisserie come in because I'm from a French country. I've been to a lot of patisseries, which is, you know, um, pastry shop where you smell like dough, yeast, and obviously a lot of fruit. Like, you know, I'm getting the peach here. I'm getting the almond, the marzipan. I hate that word, but really you get marzipan, uh, especially when you have, have some croissant and some... Um, hors d'oeuvre and a little bit of uh, uh what do you call it i'm trying to think of that dessert uh macaron so macaron you guys will call it but macaron so i can see how it's very floral it's very sweet on top so let's have a taste Okay. Okay. All right. For some reason, I'm actually going to go to have another sip. It went down a little too fast, and I I want to see if the reaction is kind of right. Mm. Mm. very interesting notes the front remind me of actually now i get it the front remind me of actually chewing on sweet caramel toffee right like caramel toffees i don't know if anybody grew up around caramel toffees like saltwater toffee that's the best way saltwater toffee that's how american but we call it you know caramel co uh, toffees it's like very sweet dark in front nice rice spice in the middle but the back is short the back is very short like you don't feel anything in your throat you don't get that Kentucky like 113 you want to get that Kentucky but it's a pleasant experience on front very nice experience on front like it's just it, the fruit even stays in your mouth it's not going anywhere yeah, fruits stay on the front palate. Mid palate, you get a little bit of that spice, but that's why my first sip went down so fast. It's like it's like I had it, and I'm like, did I drink water or did I drink? It's just I just got the sweetness, and then it went down. 
So let's have one more sip. Hmm. This is a little dangerous because it will go down quite easily. This is probably one of those drink that I can sincerely say doesn't need water. I can tell, I can tell what the blender did here, what Shailene did here is it has the softness. I, I hate to sound like that because it may sound misogynist, but it's, it has a mother's touch. It has a love woman kind of touch. It's not rough. It's not, you know, it's not, it has, French people say a certain je ne sais quoi. Since this is a patisserie, you know, Paris, Paris patisserie, I would say it has that warm, almost that warm embrace from someone you know, right? It's like, imagine you had this crush on this person forever and you never had a chance to talk to them and to have them, you just see them and everything about them is cool. But the first time they just hug you, it feels good. Yeah, it feels transcend. You feel like you're in transcendence. Though that's the best way I can I can describe the feeling that I get from this. But okay. Now let's talk about retail. It's coming out October 19. So in a few days. I'm recording this quite early. So it's coming out. I'll be honest. I think retail is about one. It'll be between 139 and 159 yes. When it comes to Blue Run, the retail price is a little on the higher end. But I, if I had to compare this to the Reflection or to the Golden Rye or to, you know, the High Rye, this is my cup of tea. So it, as far as I'm concerned, the 13... The 13 year, the 14 year, the single barrel, and this are in my top bourbon so far. But I'm telling you right now, ah, look at that. It's almost done. There you have it, folks. Blue Run Flight, Flight Series is coming out. Six different kinds. I would advise to go out there and get it. This is the the Parisian patisserie. There's five more of them out there. Now I'm very curious to know what the other ones, what are the twists of the other ones that are coming out? What are the proof on those? I would say go to bluerun.com. Yeah, bluerun.com and and check them out. You know, go 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 be curious about it. I know most of their their sales go on Blue Run. Blue Run Spirit, yeah, Blue Run Spirit, just type Blue Run Spirit, and you should be able to actually find it, and when they go on sale, you can usually buy directly from their website, but I, I'm, I'm very critical on things, but when something is just good, it's good. The blend in here was perfect, so Shailene, congratulations to you, Jim Rutledge, um, for being part of making the whiskey, but Shailene here ha did a great job on this blend, Blue Run. Uh, I can't wait for, you know, I want to try the rest of those. Uh, those are the five. Um, seriously. So, um, hit me in the comment. Let me know, have you tried Blue Run? What do you think of it? Uh, are you going to look for these um, flight series? And if you are, tell me which one is your favorite. Till next time. Uh, I'm Jack Bigadu. Make sure you follow me on all my other social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. And every now and then, I also am here on a podcast called The Truth is Barrel Proof. Till next time. Cheers. <laughs>